Hi, I'm Travis. I'm Maddie. And we're uh, at our training center, the former Dream Fair Farm in Ingersoll, Ontario. We have five or six here now. Um, we've turned one out, got rid of one. Um, we used to have 15 or 20, but we've cut back uh, substantially, I guess, due to uh, unable to find help. And uh, I guess, because I'm driving all the time, it's hard to do both. So the early mornings and stuff just don't really work. Normally I come in early. Um, I try to get here around seven. I guess it's not super early, but I do our horses at home, feed them, and then I come here. Uh, I turn everybody out. They all get outside every day. I do all their stalls, scrub buckets, set feeds, and then Travis comes in a little bit later because he does the baby. He takes care of Kingston at home, gets him all started, settled for the day, and then he comes around, uh, it depends. Between <laughs> nine and time. 10. Between <laughs> nine and 10. And then we get on the track, uh, depends on the day. I'm, I sometimes jog if it's not too cold, or uh, I just keep him and Francis, who I'm we work with, admitted that. Uh, keep them out on the track, and I kind of get everybody harnessed, stripped, and bathed. I was pretty well born into it. I think uh, I didn't had no interest in it until I guess after high school. I would I don't want to say it was forced on me, but. Uh, I was always just in the barn and, you know, I just always kept coming back to me. So I figured give it a shot, I guess. And then I started getting to know people in the business and friends and then you just keep, it's just hard to get away from at that point. And then I think she met me and that's how she got, well, her parents have a breeding firm, right? They have uh, Twinbrook, so they, she's been kind of involved, but not on this side. Yeah, I grew up at Twinbrook. Uh, my parents have a breeding farm. I helped them out. Uh, they always <clears> tried to push us to go to school, but we always came back to the horses. I actually went to school for massage therapy uh, in London, so I did the, a three-year program there. It's the equivalent of a human massage program. So this works out. I can actually massage on the side, but I still always come back. Once I met Travis, I always come back to the racing part of it too. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's yeah. like a competitive thing or a like a lifestyle or I, I, I don't even know what it is, but for some reason you always come I, back to it at some point. I don't know, like you try and get away from it, but it always, you just get, I don't know, you just get sucked back into it somehow. So we usually don't get through a day without her screaming at me. <laughs> so. If we can limit to the, the yelling at me like once or twice, it's pre it's usually a good day. Yeah. I I don't know. It in the big picture, it's great working together, and I don't know to be able to say that you work and do everything every day with it's your not husband easy, but is, we do is it. cool. But definitely a lot of challenges and arguments because we don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. And mm. I guess you always uh, shoot for as high high as you can you can be but I guess you're only as good as the horses you have in your barn and the horses you're driving so for me I'd obviously love to drive the best horses in Ontario but you know you know just win as ma many races as we can I guess that's all we can try and do like, and we'd love to have we kind of got down the last couple of years we've honestly we've just had bad bad luck and not the greatest go of things so it's kind of got us down a little bit like we'd love to have couple of good steak horses obviously I guess that's everybody's dream but you know just just horses that you know that you'd enjoy racing more than anything you'd, you know what I mean you can go to the track and mm -hmm. enjoy racing them hopefully you make a little bit of money and and no matter if you're racing in the bottom class or the top class it's still about the horse and it's fun just to be able to do what's right for them and take care of them I guess there's lots of competition out there, so it doesn't matter, young, old, it doesn't, I think, it, you know, you're always going to have competition out there, you know, there's lots of young guys out there starting out, so, you know, they're all, and they have people behind them too, right away, so, you know, it's always, it's always going to be com competitive. I think right now it's a little bit scary, obviously, with the whole COVID and the shutdowns and everything too, and I think there's always going to be struggles in the business, but it's going to take the younger generation like us to try and push to make it better and hopefully get it to what it should be. 